Hi everyone, let's see how metric bolts are measured. In our first example, we'll look at an M6 1.0 times 20 millimeter cap screw. The first designation is M6, M for metric, and 6 for 6 millimeters in diameter, which is the outside diameter of the threads. The second designation is the pitch, or the distance from thread to thread. In this case, 1 millimeter from thread to thread. And the third designation is the length of the bolt. For cap screws, it is measured from under the head to the tip of the bolt, in this case 20 millimeters. We'll now look at a flathead machine screw. Like the first example, this is also an M6, M4 metric, and 6 for a diameter of 6 millimeters. And a pitch of 1, or 1 millimeter distance from thread to thread. And a bolt or screw length of 30 millimeters, but for flathead machine screws, it's measured from the top of the head to the tip of the bolt or screw. To better see the differences in lengths, let's take a look at this cap screw and flathead machine screw, both with 30 millimeter lengths. The flathead machine screw fits under the head of the cap screw. And now a few tools to help determine the measurements of metric bolts and screws, I'll leave links in the description below. Let's start by measuring this cap screw with the Gadget Pro. The Gadget Pro has circle cutouts to determine the proper diameter, in this case M6. It also has a handy metric ruler. This cap screw has a pitch of 1, so the distance from thread to thread is 1 millimeter and lines up with the millimeter markings on the ruler. And the ruler can also be used to measure the length of the bolt or screw, in this case 20 millimeters. Now let's take a look at this screw with a pitch of 0.8. Working with whole numbers is easier, so 0.8 millimeters times 5 equals 4 millimeters. So in 4 millimeters, there should be 5 threads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And let's tackle this bolt with a pitch of 1.25. 1.25 times 4 equals 5 millimeters. So in 5 millimeters, there should be 4 threads. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now let's look at this gauge that helps to determine the diameter and pitch. If you don't know the diameter and pitch, simply try them in the different holes until you find the correct one. In the following examples, we know the measurements and we'll use the gauge to verify the measurements. M5.8 M6.1.0 And M8.1.25 Another tool at your disposal is the display at your local hardware store. It has threaded holes to measure bolts and screws and threaded studs to measure nuts. There also may be a display like this explaining the measurements of diameter, pitch, and length.